Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rich43. It's that time again, guys. It's Monday. So that means we're building the Titanic from Hashit Partworks, issue 20. Now, guys, you know what to do. If you're not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, big thumbs up to that. But while I'm on about thumbs up, please give it a big thumbs up if you like the video, guys. We'd really appreciate that. Comment and share the video if you feel free to do so. And guys, tell everyone you know about Rich43, the channel Rich43, and let me get as many subs so I can keep bringing you good content in the near future and far down the way in the future. So guys, without gabbling on anymore, let's crack on with the Titanic build, issue 20. So let's just see what we've got in this issue, issue 20. I'm not going to talk for two minutes or, well, 20 seconds or so why I undo this, because you can't hear me. There you go, let's get rid of that. Right then, guys, I think what we'll do today is have a look at what we've got in the box before we look in the mag. All right, so let's see what we've got. That's ominous. Is. What I'll do, guys, then I'll look in the mag and then we'll go through with what I've got through when we look for the instructions, etc. Just always check, guys, if you've got nothing in the bottom of the box, as you can see, that's empty. Again, I've said this in previous issues, guys, this is what the, the parts come in. They're well looked after, it's a very premium model. This is good to know so your parts are not going to get damaged. Well, I'll put those to one side. I mean, a lot today. Let's have a look through the mag of issue 20. Let's move these out of the way, sir. Right. Yep, usual stuff, guys. Good information about the Titanic. Oh, and that's it. God, this looks a big one, guys. Whoa. This looks a busy one. Okay. Remember when I was saying the other issue, it seems a bit too easy. Hmm, let's have a look. The first LED lights we're putting today, that's the main type of instructions. And let's just quickly take a look how many instructions you've got to do. It might not look as bad as it, it is, or it might not be as bad as it looks, should I say. And there's 14 instructions, 15 instructions in total. Hmm, I'm interested in these lights though. That's gonna be cool. Or the electrics, whatever those are for. Right, so first of all, guys, we'll see what we've got. Let's see what parts we've got. Right. I mean, look at that, guys. Eh? It's wrapped up. That's premium stuff, that. You don't get that with all models. Right, so we've got this circuit board. Let's put that to one side a sec. Some wire. Um, AP screws. Oh, and these look like you're gonna have to take out of there. Right, that's cool. Right. right. So the parts we've got 20A. That's the connecting cable for the first funnel. Right, let's put that top. 20B. That is the LEDs and circuit board. Put that at the top. Just out of the way so it's safe, guys. 20C. Right, hang on, let's get these out. Yeah, I do hope you're enjoying this um, this build. If you are, guys, and you've not subscribed, please smash that subscribe button. And those to you who have subscribed, really appreciate that, guys, really do. Let's give us a thumbs up, though, yeah. <laughs> Click that like button. Oh, I don't know what that is. That's easy to lose, guys. You've got to be careful with that bit. Right, I'm going to put these to one side, and then we'll go through what we've got. Right, 20C is the boiler room. 
this is plastic. I'm sure we've got one of those to one side, you know, spare in the, in the, in the storage box. 20D is the decking. That must just be filling in a bit where we've got no deck at the minute, maybe. Um, 20E is the cowling vent, which is going to be this little fella here. Again, guys, that's plastic. I've put on palm hands so you can see how big these are. Very delicate, small things. Well, I won't say delicate. They wouldn't break unless you really wanted to break them, but they're very dainty, as you can see. The size of my thumb, <laughs> right? That's the cold vent 20F is the antenna and boiler. I right, know this is a small fella, wherever this is gone. Oh, so I'm missing a part, guys. Oh, that was lucky. Look at that. <laughs> look how small that is. Let's put it this way if you look at my little finger. Okay, dainty that is. <laughs> that is small, and I thought I'd, I thought I'd lost that. It was in the middle of the page. That that could have been lost very easy. Guys, just be be careful when you're opening your pack. Just watch what you're doing as you're opening it, like I should have then, and watch where your parts fall out, guys. All right, twenty G, twenty I, and twenty H. Uh, that's the hatch grill, 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 which is this thing here. So we'll put that there out of the way. And then you've got 20k, which is 20k, yeah, 20k of these two two parts, one neck vent. Again, these are plastic guys. Again, that's what they look like in the palm of hand, that's the size of them. I'll put them at the top. Then you've got 20L, which is a plastic band. Mm, that worries me that's gonna snap. I hope not. Whatever that's for. And then three PB screws. Right. Are you ready? Let's get on with this build, guys. Right. So we're going to take 16C, which was supplied in issue 16. Now I'm just going to show you the two parts we've got stored, just so you know which one to choose from. Now you can see this one. All it's got is three little nipple things here, what's going to go into the, the decking. Whereas this one, it's a bit bigger, as you can see. They both look identical apart from that. As you can, apart from being bigger, they both the same shape, if that makes sense. But you can see there, one's smaller than the other. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm doing it this way so we can go through and you can make sure you do it right. So we want 20 H, 28 is this top right, uh, call it mesh, can I, yeah? Now, if you're uncertain which um, piece to use, what we've stored in the last issue, issue 16, as you can see, the size is there. Just get that mesh, guys, and measure it. And as you can see, that's gonna be the one we're using. So basically, you just gotta gently twist that. And that comes out pretty easy, to be fair, and that's what you're left with. And you gotta use a bit of glue. Just glue the four corners of this um, ventilator hood from issue 16. So we'll just put that there and just put a little bit of glue, guys. Again, you can use a cocktail stick or something if you want to be careful how much you put on. But I'm not doing that today. Just a very little bit guys, that's all you've got to put on. And it doesn't matter which way this goes, as long as it fits into the corresponding part, like so. And there is a little lip around that um, ventilator hood, so you can't really go wrong. So you put that there like that. And then just leave that to dry. Just get that focused, like that. Pretty cool. Well, I'll put that out of the way, just to dry. And that is instruction one done. Let's leave the glue out in case we need it. Let's turn over the page. Right, 
Right, now instruction two. Right, we've got to fit that ventilator hood, what we've just done, into the place of the stairwell on, let me just take the, there you go, the part we need. This is a stairwell superstructure. We do need a little bit of glue on these as well, guys. So what I'm gonna do, instead of putting it on the part we've just done, I'm gonna put it on this. As it does show there, you've got three little rings there. Just dab a little glue. Don't put too much out, guys, because you're gonna see it on the deck and it might look a bit tacky, if that makes sense. I need a very little bit. this what we've just put that together bring it close to the camera for you and then basically make sure it's the right way <clears throat> sorry guys <laughs> like that and then just put it into those holes which again it, e it goes in easy simple as that there you go done does that look cool? Don't worry about this falling off, guys. As I said, when we built this bit, you could do with a bit of tape on that. I haven't put her on as yet. It does keep coming off. Not been told to glue that yet. But ain't that cool, guys? Look at that. You can just see underneath. Look like a proper ventilator hood. It looks wicked. Right, so that's that bit done. Let's drop that down there. So we've done 16C. Yeah, we've done that. Instruction three, the deck in 20D, which is this. Again, this is a small part of the decking, guys, as you can see, palm of my hand. Now it's saying, fits in the space in front of the base of the first funnel on the superstructure of officers headquarters. So this little bit of decking has got to go on the superstructure of the officers headquarters, which is, again, this... Um, should I call it decking officers headquarters yet yeah, from a previous issue off was what we've done this has got to go here guys you can see there's two holes there so you turn it around so those holes are in line with the decking like so so what I'm going to do it doesn't tell you to do this but I'm going to put a bit of glue because you don't want this decking coming off when the, um, the build's done and it's starts peeling off you don't want that so this is a daisy though so you don't have to if you don't it's your choice but i'm choosing to and um, so i'll just put a little dab of glue like that see i tend as well to put some around the the edges because there'd be nothing worse if the edges of it peeled up when you finish this build, <laughs> we're not very good. So guys, just make sure this is lined up right. Because cause it's a daisy on this deck and as soon as you put it down, it sometimes does stick straight away. I might have put a bit too much glue on there. Not to worry, just dab it off. I think myself that gives it a bit of um, texture, if that makes sense. Don't look too clean if that if you know what I mean. Looks like a proper decking. So yeah, that's that done. Yeah, so that is the finished result of that instruction, instruction three. We've basically applied the decking to that gap in the super structure of the officers' quarters. That's some name that is guys. So that's how that's looking at the minute. Right, so we'll put those to one side a second. Now, instruction four, we've got to take this, this test of what we had in issue three, guys. And we've got to put some batteries in here. Long batteries, so I need to get some smaller batteries. Right, the test to which was supplied in issue three, guys, we've got to put some batteries, which I've just taken these out of the X-Wing tester, <laughs> just for your information there. So we'll put these in here. It's getting interesting now, this guys. And then we need the LED strip, which we've got here. And we've got to plug it in to the tester, which says MOT LOD. 
We should get a look at that. You see that? There you go. So yeah, we're gonna test this now, guys, before we put it together onto the um, superstructure officer's deck. There you go, they're working. I'm happy with that. Cool. All right, so that's that done. So then we take out the test and put that to one side. And then what it say do is tip it upside down and have it that way around. If you look at the structure underneath, so it's looking like that. And then guys, you've got to be careful with these, it says, because they're very delicate. So what you've got to do is these two holes here are going to have those two, two bulbs, LED bulbs. So if you gently just position those into, into place, like so. And then what it's saying do is gently, very gently, get a flathead screwdriver and prise them open. And then it should, by, by rights, click in. So yeah, we'll do that. Do you know what? It might be easier if we just put one side in like that. Gentle with these other guys, as long as those lights are in, and then we just got to get these two in at the top. Just be very careful because you don't want to break the circuit board. All right, bear with me. There we go. Mm, so that's one in. Fit the both in. There we go. Right, so that's alright, I'm quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> if you wonder why I've gone quiet then. Like that, if you look. You can see that little plastic lip is holding the LED in there. And also, there. And then what it says to do with them, let's just move this deck out of the way a second. As you can see in the instructions there, that's what we've just done. And with the screwdriver to prise these open, these bits here. And then it says test it. So again, we'll get the tester from issue three, plug it in to the MOT and LED socket. And it should theoretically work. It's very exciting this guys really excited about this. Do you know what? I think this is the best build I'm doing so far. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I think you can hear my voice. Let me just turn one of these lights off, both lights maybe. So you can see. Look at that guys. And that is all, it, it, I think it's going to help lighting the windows up. Because when the chimney's on there, it's going to bounce back and they'll be lit up. Ain't that cool? No. That. Just bear with me, let's put my hand on there. Look at that, guys. Titanic. Well, let's do that justice on camera. Right, let me turn the lights back on because I'm going to be blinding yet. So that's the lights done. So, what we'll do is gently just pull out the tester. And that is it, the LED lights are done for that, that deck. So, what I'm going to do is put that deck to one side for a second. And now what it's saying do is do some more of the um, these panels. So right, let's have a look what we've got in there. So we need, I think it's these two we've got here. So we'll put them there and we need 20C and 14B. And we've got to take 20H and 20J, same as just um, earlier in the video guys, just gently persuade those to come off. Like so, and 20J. And obviously, if you look at this, guys, I think you've caught on with me now, like you've you already noticed, they'll only fit the the plastic parts we've got, like so. That's that one. The ventilator hood, should I say, not plastic parts. You know what I mean, you're with me. Right, again, apply a little bit of glue to those guys. So, as earlier in the video, just a very tiny little bit of glue. Like so. And then 
and get the grill. And that is that hood done. The ventilator hood, that's one done. Like that. Let's put that there to dry a second. And I'll do the same with this one. Take this smaller grill. I mean, if you could see what I was just on about, just guys, there it comes out on camera. There's like a little lip, just make sure that rests in the lip with a bit of glue on. Job done. There you go, that's that one done. Go get this glue in your hands, guys, because it's really strong stuff. And that is it for instruction five. So I'm reading slowly, guys, because there's that much stuff I'm taking in at the minute. And now what it's saying is take the two ventilator hoods, uh, 14B and 20C, cut the grills, we've done that, and then put them onto the, the hoods, we've done that. Apply a little glue, yeah, we've done that. The two hoods fit for and aft of the funnel fixing point on the officer's quarters, glue them into place. So, well, we get the other decking out, the officer's quarters, which is here. And then what it wants us to do, guys, is turn it round. Let me just look. Oh no, we'll leave it that way. And we're gonna put them onto the decking. Now, guys, it's self-explanatory. You just put it on the side it's gonna fit. Um, you've got like a little chimney thing here. Let's do a dry one. Yeah, that'll fit in that one. And then this one will fit that side. But you've got to make sure you get them the right way around, guys. So this side is the grill facing that way. So that'll go in there like that. And then on the other side, the grill is facing that way. So right, we'll put a bit of glue in, just in these little holes. Right. Yeah. Comment down below guys what you think of this build. I'm loving it. Really I'm loving it. I really do look forward to doing it every week. So simple as that, that guys, you just push. In the holes, three holes, done. Like that. Now I'll do the same with this side. Like that. A bit too much glue there, you won't see that before. And then we'll turn that round. And the grill, remember guys, go facing that way away from the other grill. So all you do is push those into the holes. Oh, you had that one click, done. And that is instruction six, done. Love that, look at that. Popping that is now for me, I really do love that. Right, so let's move some of these decks out of the way. Because now I need to turn the page over and see what we're doing in the next instruction. I told you this was a big one. <laughs> right. So what we're doing now is instruction seven. Right, what we're doing now is removing the two hatches, 20G, which are these things here, which are, let me show you closer up. These two parts. So what we'll do is we'll take these off this sprue. Like so. Rest in there a second. That's that done. And then now what we've got to do is bend and crease them in that thick line there because where they're going to be going is on these little fellas here on the decking which are the ventilator hoods now it's saying you can use long nose pliers but i'm going to just use these tweezers and basically what you want to do is gently just bend them like so and then 
what you'll do is you'll bend those in the middle and that's how that'll look on the ventilated hood. Now you've got to put a bit of glue on those guys. So we'll get the glue. Just a tad down in a lot. Just so it's enough to stick it on. Like so. Yeah, I've just gone round all the hatch basically. And then what I'm gonna do is just pop that on there. Hold it for a second or two. And that is one hatch done. What do you think guys? Comment down below if you like that. And if you like how this Titanic's looking so far. So then what you do then is you get the other um, grill, should you say, yeah, grill for the, the hatch. So you've got to look guys, there's like a crease on there. Can you see that crease? trying to get there you go there's a crease down there so get these tweezers because if you do it the other way it won't do it anyway it won't bend and then gently smash it like that and then you get that little triangular look you're looking for before we put it on there what we'll do is we'll glue this again the hatch Yeah, I'm really loving this build, guys. I, dare I say, I think this is the best build I've done. <laughs> I've done a few. I know there's not a lot on my... Well, there is a lot on my channel, but you know what I mean. But I always said it was the DeLorean, but now I think this has took over that. I do love this. It's wicked. I love it. This glue is so strong. As soon as you apply it, it sticks which is what you want and that is the two hatches with the ventilator hood done love that really do love that guys look at that this is going to be one wicked build when it's finished I'll tell you that now now instruction nine it's saying the antenna holder fits in the hole in the square raised panel in the decking near the hatches which is there that little hole there um, now the orientation, then glue. Right, so basically, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of glue. Let's just check we've got that the right way around yet. Yeah. All right, guys, so if I put a little bit of glue on there. Right, a touch and then what we want is get the deck in the right way around we just want it like that so what we're going to do what we'll do is we'll push this in this hole and it's got to be pointing the way i've got it at the minute so if that goes in there like that like so and it's pointing the right way that's how you want it pointing to the left of the deck and looking at it that way that's cool <laughs> Just the little things, it's making it look good. And that is the end of instruction nine. That's putting the antenna holder on. I can't get over that, guys, them grills on the on the two hatches. I can't get over the build, to be fair. Right, me going on. Take the two swan neck vents, which are these two plastic vents, um, and then what it's saying to you, the identity of the fixing points is either at the end of the lifeboat on the starboard side of the officer's quarters. One peg on each of the vents is larger than the other. To ensure they are fitted right way around, fix into place as shown below. Use a little super glue when we know. Right, so as you can see, guys, if I just turn them around, there we go. One's bigger than the other, as you can see. One peg there, that's smaller than that one. These two are the same size. Right, so what it wants us to do is turn this the right way around for starters, like so. And then what it's doing, it's going into there. So we'll do a dry one first before we put glue in. Like 
All right, go in. Let's give that a bit of a clean out. Might be a bit of glue, because I'll put it on the deck, if you remember. That should go in there. Yeah, wicked. So I'll go in there like that. And then the other, where's it gone? The other swan neck vent, this one. They want us to put that, let's just double check. These two holes here. Well, that ain't right, is it? Hang on. My bad, it's been a tough week, guys. It's these two, obviously, which I bet you lot was already saying that already. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so that goes in there like that. I'll glue this in a minute. They're both exactly the same, these are as well, guys. And then that one goes in. That's in there like that. See, it's easier to do. If it's not going to go in, that little pin there is smaller than that one. So it's obviously got to go in a smaller hole. It'll only go one way. And that's how the one there is going in. Like that. So yeah, you've guessed it. What we'll do is put a bit of glue. I'm going to put it in the holes, I think. Just a bit in there. in there make sure the right way around there you go that's that one done take that back out put a bit of glue in there a bit of glue in there well guys I hope you, you you're ready for this long ride of doing this model you know I think I've said it in previous issues, it's about another two years. So you've got another two years watching this. It's a big commitment to do, but I'm willing to do it. But yeah, those are the two swan necks fitted to the officer's quarters. So let's flip the page over. We're still not done yet, guys. <laughs> right, let's place that there and see what else it wants us to do. I think we've got to take something from another issue. Now we've got the ventilation duct um, 15A supplied in issue 15. That was a few issues back, five issues back. Basically guys, what we're doing is this point here and that point there. The big point is going into that hole there on the decking and the little point's gonna go on that um, vent, that duct vent. And we've got to glue this again, guys. So yeah, we'll put that on there. A bit of glue. Yeah, it's gonna be so worth it when this build's done. It's just, it's an amazing build, guys. And I, I keep saying it, but so far so good. It's so easy to build. You have your challenging times at times, like, but most of it, it's not hard at all. So I say. That needs a bit of a push in there. We've got to be careful not to snap the, the ends though, guys, but give it a bit of a push. And that's that done. So yeah, that's the ventilation duct, what was supplied in issue 15, attached on top of the deck into the, those two holes, that one there, and that one there. Look at that, guys, how that's popping, man. I really love that. And it's not about putting big things on, it's just the little things like that thing there and that. Sorry guys, I don't quite know what these are called now, I forgot I'm putting that many parts on. But it's the fine detail, attention to detail, which is what building this ship's all about. It's an iconic ship, guys. Right, I'm going to stop gabbling again, or it's never going to get done. Right now, guys, it's saying take the first funnel with the details fitted from the last issue did last week, when we built this, if you remember. Let's just take that cellar tape off there, masking tape. And then what it's saying to do is take the grill off the top of the funnel, like so, and take out the interior funnel tank and smoke generator assembly. Fit the plastic back right. I'm going then. So we've got to take this out again. After getting that through there, I've got to take it out. What's that all about? Gently persuade that to go out. Like that. There we go. So 
we will take that out. This. I love that. Look at that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and then basically this little elastic band thing we've got in this issue. We've got to put that over the wire and over the smoke generator to obviously hold this wire into place. Like so. And then it's saying take the connecting cable, K1, which we've got in this issue. Let's just unravel this. Like so. Got these two connectors on the end. Um, thread the larger connector socket up through the funnel. This will end up connecting the smoke generator to the cable. Right. So look at these two parts guys, that's the larger. So what it's asking us to do is thread it through there. Now there's nothing inside this chimney at the minute so it's easy enough to get your finger in and pull that out. So we've done that, which is on these instructions, that's what it's asking to do. There's the big end on there. And you'll know you've done it right because the wire and this plug here has got K1 on there and that should, if you've done it right, be coming at the top of the chimney there. Right, now what it's asking us to do guys, get your tweezers, it's basically got to go through that hole there, which it says it's a tight fit, feed the socket through with a wider rim at the top where the cable is ad adjacent to the LED circuit board 20B which is under there, so it's going to be coming through there basically where this opening superstructure is the widest right, that sounds easier said than done what I'm going to try is just put it through myself don't want to break nothing here guys going in don't seem too bad at the minute just gently persuade that to go Without breaking any wires. Guys, that will go through, but it's a bit fiddly. Just give it some persuasion and that will go through. What's happened is why I'm putting that through, it's come out of the chimney. But that's not a problem. Just push that back through there. He says, there you go, it's just got a little bit of fiddling to do guys, get your finger in there and pull that out. Right, so that's done. And that's under there, like so. And now we've just got to turn the page, see what else we've got to do. Right, now when that's done that, basically, pull some of the wire through, so you've not got as so much excess. And what you can do is just wrap that around there like that. Make a little ring with it, whatever you want to do. And then place that just there, like so. And then now, guys, we're fitting the chimney. <laughs> right. What we're doing is this, guys, here. But what I'm going to do before I fit the chimney, because it'd be more simpler, and the wire keeps retracting back, I'm going to just put that out there like that. And attach the grill back, wherever the grill's gone to. See the juice, where's that gone? Yeah, we'll attach the grill. Which you've seen me do this before, guys. Put that in there. This, I'm sure, only goes one way if I remember right. That's like that, it's done. And what we'll do, so we put the grill back on. I'm going to put this masking tape back on because everything keeps dropping out and the wire keeps moving. So, yeah, that is that bit done for now. And then, yeah, guys, what we're going to do now is attach this chimney to the, the decking. So, right, what we do is we make sure we've got it the right way around, which we have. And what we can do is pull some of this wire through because we've got way too much wire on the top of the deck. Pull that through and 
ladders guys you've got to be at the front like that so might pull that through oh this is tight and this wire down the play there we go feed that through there Gone. Let's just twist this around it because I've got that tangled. Here we go. I need that wire, boy. Oh, everything's falling off. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. That look good. Right. This, I'll glue back in in a minute. But for now, what we need to do is screw this on so it's secure. So we need these AP screws. Guys, we've actually put the first chimney on the Titanic. How cool is that? That is wicked. Let's get the screwdriver. And then basically screw these AP screws to attach the funnel. That's one in. Like so. And guys, that is the first funnel on the Titanic. How good does that look? <laughs> wow. How wicked and how is that pot, guys? Look at that. I love that. I really do love that. What I'll do is I'll do a good shot at the end, guys. I mean, look at the detail there, guys. Look at that. That is amazing. You can just imagine the workers on the Titanic climbing up there to do maintenance, couldn't you? <laughs> that is how good. This model is and is going to be premium model, guys. Wicked. Well, I told you it was going to be um, a busy one this week, which I want, want nothing more. But that is just amazing. Hang on, guys. Just noticed, not a problem. I think we jumped to instruction. We forgot to put this Keld Vent 20E in. That position there after we put that little piece of decking on that's when it should have been put on guys do you know what my excuse is i don't want this build to end i don't want this issue to end every week i'm doing it i love doing it, it makes me happy i just wanted to prolong it really and entertain you guys whilst doing it <laughs> that's my excuse anyway right so yeah guys face that that way and then basically Push into those little holes. Hang on, let's get a good grip. Like so. And that is that done. Now I'm done. And that's done. And that is issue 50. All done. Well guys that was a wicked issue, we did a lot in that issue, I hope you enjoyed this video, we've done a lot more this week than we have done in past issues, I know it's not all about that but I really enjoyed this week's issue of issue 20 of the Titanic build from Hashub Parkworks. Guys if you love that video, if you like that video, give it a big juicy thumbs up for us. If you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button so you can support me on this journey to get monetized in the next couple of months. Yeah, so please subscribe, like comment feel free to share the video to anyone you know and i'll see you in the next one hopefully next week i say that because i've not received the the next four issues yet but fingers crossed they'll be here in the next couple of days so we can keep banging this um this brilliant build out so yeah guys please subscribe like comment and feel free to share the video to whoever you want now have a good productive week uh, guys until i see you next week on the titanic build but there will be some more videos obviously coming up between now and then Check me out guys, subscribe, press the bell notification so you get all notifications whenever I put a video out and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.